Yavapai Humane Society is brought to you by Prescott True Value. We're so much more than just a great hardware store. November is National Adopt a Senior Pet Month, and who better to help us adopt some great animals? And that is the Yavapai Humane Society, and that's where we head up to right now where Lori is. Good morning, Lori. How are you? I'm great, Brad. How are you? I'm doing good. This is a very important month because people love those cute little puppies, those cute little kittens, but our senior dogs also are looking for homes. They are, and it's so sad because they get overlooked because everybody does. Like you said, they want the cute little puppy. They want the little kitten. Well, you know what? Those little puppies and those little kittens are going to grow up eventually, and they're going to be senior dogs. And, you know, it's just so sad because a lot of people, they have this dog that they've had for forever. They get a new puppy. They get a new kitten. And who is it that they end up surrendering? They end up giving up their, their senior pets. And, and then they're here, and people like kind of have this whole thing like why do I want to get an older dog I'm I'm active well a lot of these dogs I mean you have no idea how active they are and then you've also got the seniors who just want to hang out with you and just be there and a lot of people are just you know I don't want to bring home this dog that's just just gonna you know sit there and and die in a year or two well you don't know that you don't know how long it's gonna be and you know what why not take them home and give them a loving home and let them live out their life there. Yeah, because I'll tell you, sometimes I wish I had a senior dog with my two little young ones as they run around and, and crazy and stuff like that. Um, what also is kind of interesting is that the older ones have the manners already and which is also important people need to understand is that these senior dogs usually come from someone who's passed away or who can't take care of them right now. So they're coming from great homes. They are, and you know, like you said, they're already past that puppy stage. They're not going to sit there and chew up your shoes, or you know, the cats aren't going to sit there and scratch everything up, unless you know that's what they've been raised doing, like mine. Um, and so, you know, they're, they've already kind of set in in their ways. They know they know who they are already. You know what they're going to look like. They're not going to change from this. Might get a little little more gray, but they're already grown up and they're already ready for you. There you go. And I know you have some to show us right now, don't you? I do. I have Justice. And Justice is a beautiful uh, nine, well, she's almost nine, uh, Labrador Retriever mix. Um, she's been with us since August. Um, her previous owners had to move and they weren't able to take her. She's super loving, very, very sweet. She's calm. She loves attention, as you can see. Hey, Justice, check out the camera. <laughs> um, she not only loves the attention, she really needs it. Uh, she loves to play ball. She would spend all day out here playing ball. And then, you know, she eventually gets to the point where she's just tired. She just kind of wants to go back in her kennel and lay down and, and take a nap. So she'd much rather be out here walking around, you know, than in her kennel. But, you know, she has a little bit of separation anxiety when she's left alone. So we probably want to, you know, get her crate trained. Uh, but she's just got a lot of love left in her, and her, her previous owner did state that she does get along with children, adults, um, cats, and dogs, but we still want to have our positive meet and greet if you do have another dog. Yeah, so uh, very, very cute, very nice older dog. Okay, what's the next one you got for us? We've got Ella. Come here, girl. And this is sweet Ella. Uh, she's eight and a half year old retriever rat terrier mix. She first came to us in March as a stray. Uh, she was here until she was adopted in May and then she was brought back the next day uh, for escaping. She's a really sweet dog. She does need a lot of attention. She loves having time to get petted and spoiled, loves being outside, going for walks. She can get uh, excitable, so you know we kind of watch to make sure that she doesn't overdo it. She's uh, learning her commands. She knows sit. She's very eager to learn. We've been working with her on her leash skills and uh, getting her to not bark at everything that walks by. Oh. Um, you know, shelter environment is not, you know, 
ideal for any animal, but especially for a senior. So we're hoping that once she gets out into, you know, a home that she's going to be able to settle in and, you know, hopefully just become a different dog. Yeah. I'll tell you, Lori, they are once they get into a, another loving home. And again, we can't overlook our senior pets. They're, they're wonderful. So tell them where they can find out more information about all the different senior pets and other pets you have too. We've got our website, well, yavapaihumane.org, our Facebook page, and you can also give us a call at 928-445-2666. Perfect. Lori, thank you very much for showing off those pets. Please get up there and adopt them. You know, they, they need homes, too, and they're, they're great to have. So, all right. Thank you.